Well, there is some big money on the table at the World Series of Poker, and along with that, some bragging rights as well. Dan Cates just made history, winning back-to-back -back championships, and he joins us now. We want to congratulate you on this amazing feat that you've done. I mean, back-to-back -back wins is very impressive. Thank you, Amy, and thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I understand that this is actually a five-day tournament with the last day lasting 13 hours. How do you stay focused and, and, and get through this uh, champion at 13 hours? That's a long time. Well, it helps that I started off online. Uh, mm -hmm. So online, we're often used to playing multiple tables at once okay. and very long sessions at once. So playing one table that's a lot slower uh, isn't so hard to make it it isn't so hard to make sound decisions uh -huh. but it it can be easy for us to get bored actually because oh. at least the online players uh -huh. um, yeah it's just we're used to so much more stimulus that uh, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. wasn't uh -huh. I mean it wasn't such a huge issue but I was getting really tired yeah. to put it that way well I understand that you were um, the youngest to win this and really the only American in the final five mm -hmm. is it a little intimidating to be the youngest Oh, no, not at all. No? No, I, uh, <laughs> I think uh, they were more afraid of me than I was afraid of them. Well, is that because of the way you were dressed <laughs> yeah, up? Yeah, uh, yeah, Randy partly. Savage, is uh, that right? Partly, but I've been doing this for a long time, and I've played high stakes for a long time. Uh -huh. uh, and to me, like, it, there was a lot of money on the table, but, you know, I play, play cash games all the time mm -hmm. that have similar amounts of money. And when we play on these cash game tables, we're often having fun is the funny thing. Okay. And what I find ironic about these tournaments is that when I watch them, they're so, everyone's so stoic. Uh -huh. And it's like, come on, like, let's have some kind of fun with this yeah. or make it more interesting. Yeah. I'm sitting there, like, bored, and it, there's so much tension. And this is my <laughs> way of trying to bring more fun to the tables. Well, and do you feel like people maybe underestimate you when you're dressed like that? Maybe it gives you a little edge. I, uh, I hope they do. <laughs> I think they just don't know what's going on because they're not used to it. Yeah, yeah. Were you, I mean, to win back to back, did you almost surprise yourself with that? I, mean, I did. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's the reason why I decided to dress up and make kind of a spoof of it all. Because mm -hmm. in my head when I hear, okay, defend my title, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, okay, that's not really, that's basically impossible. It's very, very unlikely anyway. Uh -huh. And I thought, well, why don't I just make it completely ridiculous and dress up as like a way over the top, cocky uh, mm -hmm. wrestler where uh -huh. it does kind of make sense mm -hmm. and they talk a whole lot of smack. So I figured, okay, well, no one really does that at the poker table, and that makes things more lively and more fun. Yeah. Um, and no one else was doing it, so yeah, that's why I did it. And what's next for you? Do you have another big game coming up? Uh, I've got a few big games coming up. I'm going to Cyprus next. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Well, will you be dressing up? Uh, Maybe. Yeah, there's a good <laughs> chance. Uh, I'll do something fun. Especially if I make a final table, I'll for uh -huh. sure do something fun. Well, congratulations, and thank you so much for taking the time to come and speak with us. We certainly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. And you can find more information about Dan Cates by just going to our website, kkl9.com, and click Scene on TV.